Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Tag us in your makes. We love to see what you're making. We're very sociable. Follow us to stay up to date with everything new at Tonic Studios. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Stay up to date with Tonic Studios by subscribing to our mailing list. Never miss a video. Like, subscribe and hit that notification icon. Have you got a question for us crafters? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the Tonic Craft Kit and get 10% off every order. Every order! Have you got a big order? Pay in instalments using ClearPay, ShopPay and PayPal. Need to know when your favourite products are in stock? Click notify me when available and we let you know. Can't wait to get a die set? Click notify me when available and we'll let you know. Visit the Tonic Studios craft room for inspiration, information and tutorials all in one place. Looking for a freshly launched product? Head to the new launches tab on the Tonic Studios website. Two Tonic Studios. I asked the very wrong question at the wrong time there. Do we have a guillotine? Yes, yes, we do. Thank you to my glamorous assistant. Welcome on in, everyone. We are um, <laughs> we are live. We prepared, are prepared. Very prepared. We're so today. prepared. Mm -hmm. So prepared. Yes. Probably as prepared as we've ever been in our lives. I'm just going to stack that there <laughs> and hope it doesn't all fall over. Um. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Yes. We are going to be doing our lovely craft along. Mm -hmm. I haven't done one of these for ages. I'm sorry it's so early. That is my fault. I have to leave to pick my daughter up from school. Yes. So we've got lots of people joining us though. We have. Janelle. Hi Janelle. Welcome. Hope you're okay in Texas there. Uh, we've got Facebook user saying hi everyone. Happy craft along. Happy craft along to you as well. Uh, Graminator1950, hello from Austin, Texas. Oh, we have a lot in Texas today. We do. Uh, Julie's Craft is with us. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Uh, Regina is in South Carolina. Um, who else have we got here? We have a lot of Facebook users. Oh, please tell me your names. I don't know who it is. Yeah, so if you are watching us on our Facebook group specifically, we can't see your name, unfortunately. If you're on our main tonic page, that's fine. But in the group, it just doesn't show us your name. So if I you know. want to uh, say who you are, then we can uh, call you out by name. That would be lovely. So we've got uh, Droplets of Magic is with us today. Oh, Victoria Dial, she's with us as well. Hi, Hi Vicky. Vicky. 
Oh, did I miss anyone there? No. Oh, we've got the lovely Rich with us as well. Hello, Rich. Um, you know, I have had a lovely biscuit today, Rich. Thank you very much. Yes, thanks for the cookies. They were much appreciated. Delightful. Absolutely. Linda Carey. Oh, Linda Carey. That was me. Happy Craft there Along. There we go. Hi, Linda. Happy Craft Along, Linda. Uh, 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 Gabbing with Grammy. Missouri here. Wow. Oh. Hello, everyone. Maryland. Florida. Our Susie's with us. Hi, lovelies. Hi, Susie. Hello, hello. And we've got a craft along cuppa from the amazing Sharon. Oh, thank you very much. I could definitely we, use we a cuppa. We need a cuppa. My it's, hands are a little cool today. It's, it's a little chilly it in is here today. Chilly. Uh, Les is with us from Birmingham. Uh, Barbara's with us uh, from Germany. Ah, oh, she's not a kit yet. Oh, they Aww. do take a little bit longer. And we are a bit early this month. We are. It's Cam's That's Cam's fault. fault. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get married. Yes, my cardi does look familiar. Yes, you did buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Forever looking for nice cardies. That is our life now. Right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, Jill is with us as well. Um, Pam is saying, uh, hi all, love the popsies. Thank you very much. Today you are wearing? I am wearing Gregosaurus today. Ah, I am wearing? <gasps> My favourite. I can't remember. Is she Leilani? Leilani. I am wearing Leilani today. How do you remember all of these names? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> Just I mean, Gregosaurus is a very rememberable name. Ah, but name. there are a lot of Saurus dresses. There are. There are. She's got most of them. <laughs> it's a must. <laughs> They're amazing. Anything that's got dinosaur socks, I have to buy. I've just got a load of dinosaur socks at home. <laughs> She's probably turn into dinosaur other things. Yes. There are uh, lovely dinosaur t-shirts as well. Yes, there, there are. Pyjamas? I do have di uh, I have dinosaur pajama shorts and a dinosaur onesie. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Then. I want one that has like the spikes down. Yeah, the back. I want that. Oh, Mine tail. just got like a dinosaur print, like yours does. They're Christmas dinosaurs. Oh, Both for Christmas dinosaurs. Lovely, lovely. So Monica's with us as well. Um, Carrie Valentine is with us from New Jersey. Hello. Oh, wow. Adele from Sunny PT. Yay, nice to see you, Adele. PT represent. Definitely. And Jacqueline from London. Uh, oh, Linda's brought us some cake. Oh, yum. Yes. yes. A nice cuppa and a bit of cake. Be lovely. Delicious. So, could we on. better get started? No, nah, it's fine. We'll just no? keep chatting. No, ah, fine. That's why everyone comes to watch us, right? It's, yeah. It's just to have a chat. Yeah. No, it's not really. Kit, <laughs> craft along. So for those of you that haven't seen our previous video, was it us that did this one? I can't remember. No, was it me and Al? You and Al, I think. Me I don't remember Al. doing this. I know. Then we, again, I don't remember what I did yesterday, so no, no, there's we, that as well. We are well. constantly working on three kits at a time. So we're talking about the one that yes. is currently available, the one that's about to be available, and then we're also working on the next one. That, so trying to keep kits straight in our heads, mm -hmm. sometimes quite tricky. But this one is the right one. <laughs> this one... <laughs> I just had an awful thought then. <laughs> I'm have so I brought the right, the right one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this isn't even ours. Like, this is the lovely, pristine marketing kit that I have borrowed for the purposes of today. Because you need to show your. Is, um, this is never the way you show you store your dies. I I've been so busy this week. i um, trying to make this project. I, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Let's, <laughs> let's have a look at what actually get, comes in the kit first, on, very then. briefly. So we have our lovely little flyer. So this month, this is time spent with friends, which is a lovely sentiment, it I think. It really, really is. And um, we've made a couple of projects to kind of get you started, but obviously the design team have also done some as well. Very quick run through, because if you want to see all of this in more depth, go and check out the video on that. So you have your lovely dies in here. You have three page sizes that you can make with this set. You've got a nice um, spine piece that you can use to make your, you can ring bind this, you can bind it with ribbon. You can. Or you can use any of our other spines mm -hmm. if you have any of those as well. If you are a collector yes. of the memory book range. 
and I'm sure a lot of you probably are. Oh, definitely. Um, you've got lovely sentiments in here. So you've got the time spent. You've got remember. You've got life is better. Um, you've got a couple of pull tabs. You've got sentiment tabs. Mm -hmm. You've got hole protectors for your um, spine holes on I there. Love that. Pocket, uh, no, photo corners mm -hmm. and photo holders that are not corners. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah. little, like little thumb. Those, yeah, little um, thumb notches. Yeah. yeah, kind of, but they buenos. don't call them. They are buenos, buenos notches. notches. <laughs> they are absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a little set of stamps with this one as well. So, the thing I love about these stamps, and I don't know that you're going to be able to see this properly, but it's all the same sentiments in two different fonts. Um, so you have with family, the good times, those special days, with friends, that night, with you and those days. And you have it in this nice kind of serif font and you also have a nice script as well. Beautiful. And they are meant to go with obviously the die sentiments so you can put them together. Yes. So hardware, done. Oh, this is the marketing one, I have to be nice to it. Okay. <laughs> put it all back neatly. Just in case they need it again. Probably they will. Paper-wise then, or oh, this one was a fun one. So we have a couple of patterned papers. First of all. Oh, nice. So you have these papers, so they are double-sided. So you get two sheets Ooh. of each. Four sheets of pattern paper. Four wow. sheets of pattern paper included. We good. then have, I'm gonna double check this, cause I think, yes, you've got two sheets of smooth ivory. So this is a 300 GSM. Um, probably best for your covers. Mm -hmm. um, if you are doing a spine, you're probably gonna want that as well. So mm -hmm. you've got that nice kind of durability. We have a lovely, heavy construction weight acetate sheet in here as well. Oh, that's nice. We have two sheets of our beautiful Cosmic Copper oh, Pearl cardstock. It is double-sided pearl, so nice for all of your embellishments behind your sentiments and things like Fabulous. that. Two sheets of our pearl <gasps> gold vellum. Wow. Which we love. I can't remember, is this 150 or is this 100? Mm, I kind of think that's a thin one. This so. one is 100. Is it 100? It doesn't say on there. I have a mm. feeling it is 100 weight. 100 GSM weight, that is. And then you have four sheets of our classic card in ivory which is lovely because you can cut your pages yes exactly so great for your pages Fabulous. there we go paper done i'm speeding through this because i want to get are. to the fun part and i mean the gray bag i say brown bag that the is brown not bag. brown gray bag but also the making part as mm -hmm. well and then yes the gray bag which is generally it's your favorite. favorite part of the kit we what? have lots of trying me things, I think. Yes, I agree. So, we've got three different types of adhesive to give a try of this time around. Lovely. So we have our lovely foam pads. These are the 25mm by 25mm ones. We use those for so much, don't exactly. we? Exactly, because you can cut these down. They are perfect. You can have strips of foam pads mm -hmm. and all sorts. Exactly. We then have one of our adhesive tape runners. So this is the solid tape. Um, with this one, mm -hmm. it is eight meters and it is eight mil wide. So great for adding photos and mm -hmm. flat embellishments. And then we have our large flat tip glue pen. Now these are brilliant. Probably, I wouldn't use it perhaps with some of these things, mm -hmm. but they are great for edging your pages. If you have yep. some gilding flakes and you <gasps> want to edge the, yes. you know, the pages of your book around the sides, this is gonna be perfect for that. You're gonna get that nice, consistent, solid flat line mm -hmm. across all of your pages, add your gilding flakes on it. It's gonna Fabulous. look so I mean, we've luxurious. had gilding flakes in so many kits. We have, you, you've, you're, if you were a kit collector, you've probably got quite a few of those little mm -hmm. pots that we do of those. Give it a try. Some copper gilding flakes, some of this glue. Lovely. Beautiful. And then we have, oh, we've got a couple of different versions of this. I'm just gonna drink this. So you have, will have one of these ribbons. Um, either, this one is in amber yellow. This is one of our double satin. This is a nine mil white. Or you'll have had our Windsor check, which is this lovely gingham. My kit had the check. 
the marketing kit and the Ariello. So, you know, it is a lucky dip as to which it one is. you get. It certainly is. Oh, probably my favourite product oh. in this kit. Oh. Oh. Um, you do love a dream drop. We, we love all dream drops, but this one may be specific. We love all dream drops equally. Yes, that <laughs> but especially this one. So this is a Moroccan Flame and Dream Drops, if you've never used them before, iridescent luster, oh, just so shimmer. Pretty. You can swirl them and make patterns in them. Love, love, love them. And finally, we have an Aqua Shimmer Pen. This one is in Sunlit Sienna. Mm -hmm. And as it says here, it adds a subtle copper shimmer effect. So great for a lot of up. edging work again mm -hmm. on here. So the, oh, yeah, would you like me to put them away? Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, I'll have to do that later. <laughs> well, well, yeah, we'll just move that to one side. <laughs> so I that is your, that your kit, in case you haven't bought one before, if you've never seen a kit. That is a fairly typical kit. It is, it what is. I mean, things you can expect? You say a typical kit, but we have got multiples of cards in this one because you're making something that needs more yes. than one sheet of card. Yeah. Usually in a kit, you mm -hmm. will have an assortment of colours, all coordinated, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes a contrast in there, something to make it pop. Mm -hmm. It's always nice. It is. It's always a nice selection of colours. And we've got a couple of the memory books around us that people have made with this. Uh -huh. And we've used some of this as inspiration for today. Yes. So we're not making a whole memory book. I feel like that would be a bit of a stretch for a <laughs> for a one hour craft on. I'm not sure we would quite get an entire memory book made. And I think as well, I mean, it's quite simple. You can see you've got your lacing here. Shall we go? Yeah, we'll go here. Mm -hmm. You can see you've got your lacing down the side, you know, you're literally just popping that dye on, cutting it again, adding your protection. Mm -hmm. so it doesn't uh, tear. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think that's that's as simple as it gets, you know, to make the actual book, that is as simple as it gets. And then you have a lovely layout. So what we have done is we have basically made a double page spread. Now you could put this in this particular memory book, it would mm -hmm. work perfectly. You would just, you know, before you decorated it, cut your holes yeah. down here. But you could also add this then, if you have a spined book, you could glue these onto your spines. You could put it into a different shaped book. So you it's can. more of an idea of decoration than it is about fully constructing a memory book. So mm -hmm. something a little bit easier. Yes. Uh, the winter check ribbon is beautiful. It is lovely on harvest inspired cards. It is very perfect for this time of year, I think. It really the, is. Yeah, the, the colors are. Tan. Colours are fab. Let's, mm -hmm. let's go back a little bit because I've missed quite a lot of people here as well. Claudia is with us from Germany. Welcome. Margaret. Uh, oh, Margaret said her nephew, great nephew Oscar, he loves dinosaurs. He's only five. Oh, what a cutie. Crafty Melanie's with us. Um, Vicky said, oh, a memory book I haven't made. Oh, well, you best get on Well, <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> How very dare you. <laughs> um, is there anyone who can give us a list of memory books from one to now? In okay. Order? Ooh, there is one crikey. somewhere. There is one somewhere. And I've got a feeling it's on the group. There is one. I know in Official Magazine 2, the one that had the memory book in it. Could be. There is but a there, list in there. But there's obviously a, we've added to it since yeah, then. Yeah, but there's a list on Facebook. Somebody has done a list. It's got to be in our group somewhere. Somebody must know of it. Joanna, I'm sure Joanna knows. Probably. Joanna so somebody tag Joanna and if she, <laughs> she knows. She really does well she know. know where the list is? Um, Regina, uh, yes. Oh, she's only got three of the pattern papers. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Send her a message. Send her a message. She'll send you another one. A uh, question for Karen, please. When you did the Halloween, which paste did you accent? The edge. Oh, the skeleton. Wasn't it... Silver platinum. Pure it platinum. was pure platinum. Pure platinum uh, embellishment mousse. That's what we used. Oh, you don't want gilded waxes. This smell. This is you wash it off your hands with. with oh water. yeah, I, I was literally adding embellishment mousse to a ribbon earlier with my yeah. finger, and then just wiped it off with a yeah with, with a wet, wet wipe. wipe. Yeah. If you can't Far clean easier. it up with a wet wipe, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we like that kind of crafting. <laughs> Okay, let's get to it. 
Um, I was just going to remind myself what I did. <laughs> I was going to say that. I, You were over the other side of the desk and I was testing dies my side. So I don't know what you made. I mean, I have a bag of pieces. So hopefully this will remind me of how this goes together. <laughs> Honestly, this week has been a bit of a... Um, yes. Busy one. Yes. One of those. It, it, it's definitely it's been, been one of those weeks. It has. Things have been thrown at us left, right and centre and we've... Loved every minute. <laughs> <laughs> we always love every minute. So that goes, yeah, on the back, right? Okay, I've got four of those. So yeah, we are making a mini book in our pages as well. Yes. I remember that much. Excellent. Oh, I'm winning, I'm winning. Okay, so we'll start with these pages. So when you first cut a memory book page, you'll notice that there is no cut line on this edge. And that is intentional. This is so you can decide how you are closing your book, how mm -hmm. you're putting your pages in. <coughs> so how long you want yes. that to be as well. You could also cut this from a single piece of card. So this was a single thing. Line you them up could. if you wanted it to be just a folded you book. Could. If that was something that you wanted to do. Yeah. So I wanted to leave those in so I can, you know, this is normal. This is how this is meant to be. And I will quickly show you if I can find my dies. Oh, here we go. This is where I need to admit to the horror that is my dies. And as Karen says, I never normally oh, do this. This is me. This is what I do to dies. She never, ever does this to dies. I always put my dies back on my sheets. And, um, <laughs> yes, I was a little busy this week. And yeah. there's two sets of dies in here as well. One of them, oh, look, this one is even still... Half in it, so. <laughs> so we'll have that one then. I'll just borrow this one rather than hunting through <laughs> that mess trying to find the other one. Are you okay over there, Cam? Is this disturbing you? <laughs> my, uh, my, oh, yeah, are you talking on your TV? No, no, I'm you? still getting over a cold. Oh, yeah. It's okay. yeah, it's okay. not the right time to be getting a cold. I've been no. trying my hardest to get no, that. It's not right back in there. So, yes, we'll just put that back away. We, we won't look at that. So if it's so I funny though, knowing what you like with dyes normally, and then it's just not that happened at all, at all. <laughs> so on this particular die, if I oh no, we're not doing that camera this way. You have two sides. This you have a score line along one side, and then there's no cut edge at all on the other side. So you can decide if you want to have your score line this way, if you want the score to be right down here, or if you want the score to be at the end of your page. And you've also got these little notches, buenos, buenos notches, notches. <laughs> um, that will align to the edges of your page. And if I bring in one of the smaller ones, you will see, if I was doing the full page, the die will sit perfectly between the two cut lines. Mm -hmm. If you're doing one of the smaller pages, you simply line up the notches with the cut line and then of your you page. know that everyone you do and line up in the same way will always have the holes in the right place exactly what she said Excellent. there we go it's like we rehearsed it so i'm not cutting the holes into these pages i am just going to leave them blank but if you were doing that that is how you're doing it and that's how that die is designed to work so with my handy dandy guillotine that my lovely assistant was getting for me literally as we went live <laughs> Oops. I'm going to cut my pages out of the backing sheet. The way that I have found that is easiest to do this, and I don't make a lot of merry books, so no. I don't know if you want to listen to me or not on this, pull away this bit and line up the edge of your page with mm -hmm. the edge of your guillotine, and then just... And also, if you have a memory book that's got a shaped, more of a shaped edge mm -hmm. on this side, you just <clears> want to do the same but with the, what's the slidey one? The V trimmer or the super, super trimmer. trimmer. Geordie's favorite. Super trimmer. Super trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely should have like a, a cape. It should have a cape. Yeah, it absolutely. <laughs> so just nip that out oh, of there. Bleh. There is my page with the nice now straight tails. Same on this side. Boop. Nice and easy. I don't there probably is another way of doing this, but this is nice and easy for me. Um you know, obviously be careful with the edge of your guillotine. Uh -huh. Putting your fingers in the edge of your guillotine. Don't lower the blade while you're doing it. Just uh probably a fairly standard tip on that one. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't matter if you've cut it out of a scrap and you've got a wonky edge here. 
because no, if I was to butt a you wonky don't edge want up there, to, yeah, you don't want to put the wonky edge against that. No, exactly. Yeah, you just trim them off where you need them. And I think these might actually be slightly wonky, but that's fine because I'm not putting them in a book yet. So my two pages are ready to go. So I have a left and a right. And this side we're going to do first. And this one was probably the quicker of the two. So we'll get that out of the way. So I have cut a piece of my patterned paper and this was using, now if you have the cut list in front of you, you can probably tell me better than I can remember myself. Ah, yeah, we should have had that, shouldn't we? I have a feeling this is Oops. the biggest layer. It looks like the biggest layer, yes. Yeah. So this is the biggest layer of the biggest page and I have cut into it the page die that makes the middle size page. So you get a flap that isn't cut all the way through. Flippity flap. A flippity flap, exactly. Nice. To go along with that, I have cut the smallest layer <laughs> I have of the biggest page and I'm going to stick this behind. So this is going to make a nice enclosed Ooh. bit. Go you! So that now <gasps> when I open this I have a mat for a photo or somewhere to write or whatever you want. Just make sure that you only put glue around the edge. Yeah. You don't want it to go over this bit because you don't want to stick that down. Mm -hmm. And I just said that to remind myself more than anything else. <laughs> That's very funny. And yet true. <laughs> um, so if you haven't already seen the cut list, do you know um, off the top of your head, Cam, where that might be? Is it on the craft room? Um, I can put it on the craft room. Okay. Please. Um, so I know I went out in an email earlier this week. If you didn't receive that email, um, did the email only go to kid subscribers or did the email go to everyone? I don't know if I should check to see if I had it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Make sure I glue this the right way down. Very so I'm weird. gluing this down with the weave side going onto the glue because obviously when I open this, I want to you see, see the, weave, the side. weave side. Yeah, exactly. Right, when did this go out? Oops. Monday or possibly Tuesday. Okay. Because I was still what making it on we? Monday. Yes. We are <laughs> We are now Thursday, aren't we? See, I don't even know what day it is. Why I don't know Thursdays? where I am. Let's have a little look. Uh, no, that's died. Oh, oh, we don't want that. That's die deals. That was Wednesday, Yeah, it's not on that one. Okay. While you're looking for that one very other tip that I should have mentioned, try not to get glue out the edge of here because we're going to leave this open for a flap. So if you do happen to accidentally put glue there, just grab your uh, nice little precision glider and just go around Take the edge off. and uh, yeah, pick that off. Take that off. So make sure that is nicely glued. Right. I was lucky I did remember that after the fact because I didn't remember when I started putting the glue down. Uh -huh. So. No, I haven't got it there. Bear with. Yesterday? No, I think it was definitely Tuesday. Oh, uh, well, I haven't got it because I'm not a kid subscriber, so perhaps it's that. Maybe that's it then? Yeah. Possibly. If you had the email, let us know. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. someone has Hopefully had the Hopefully somebody's got the email. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure cool. I did get it. I didn't. You're on a different list to me. I must be. <gasps> <sighs> and I don't subscribe to the kids, so... Is that because I'm old? Ooh. <laughs> Let, let's not go down that road. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I am going to add a sort of peak tab inside nice. here, another bit. And I've cut this using the... It's one of the layers from the middle page, possibly the biggest layer. So in order to make sure, sure when I glue this, I don't glue where okay. this needs to go. Yes. Hold it in place. And pop it around. Oh, email came on Monday. Thank oh, you, Beth. Thank you. Thank you very, wow, very I much. Got that done quicker than I thought I did then. Uh huh. Well, I didn't look at Monday. <laughs> See if I got it. Look at the rubbish I got. Wow. I do get a lot of rubbish emails. And not only on your personal email accounts. It's funny, when Karen's away, we have to go in a. Delete emails for her from her laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen? Oh, is it on the what's on one? 
No, you were still making it Monday. That was Monday morning, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it definitely wasn't ready Monday morning. No. I mean, I shouldn't perhaps admit to that, that I was still making this. <laughs> and why not? But it was one of those weeks. I got it. Virtual craft along this Thursday. God, they got that out quick, didn't they? That's oh, Sam, that is. Play. Good ah, job, she Sam. good, isn't she? Oh, we'll keep her. Yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. My pocket is now on. I've got my flap with my photo mat underneath it. And I still Good. have this bit open for my pocket to go in. Pocket, tag, slide in and out a bit. Yep. That one. Words lost. Yes. So, continuing, we shall add on some little pieces. And you have your little bag. I do. So I've cut one of the tabs. This is the pull tab, and I've cut this in Cosmic Copper. Fold it just across here, and I find wherever I just put my, there it is. Ta -da. That one. That one. When I'm folding something that I want to do as a straight line, I often find it helpful to go <coughs> over the edge of my precision mm. creaser because it has that nice You are flat full edge. of the tips today, aren't you, Mrs. M? Well, you know, <laughs> they pay me to do this stuff, so I, I try and make an effort. Crafty mischief makers, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> How dare. Welcome, Oh, all Monica. So Monica's got a few memory book dies, but she's not been brave enough to have a go. <gasps> it's just a piece of card, Monica. Give it a cut. Give yeah. it a go. See how you get on. What is it Jodie says? If you can make a card, you can make a memory book page. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely you and can. And if making an entire book is too much, make a page. Yeah, like this. Make a layout. And then add it to a book later on. Yeah, exactly. Very sorry if you can hear the slamming. There's obviously a van outside mm -hmm. delivering. Closing its door very loudly. Just so we all know about it. <laughs> so I'm going to try and make sure this is as central as possible. That looks about right. Mm -hmm. Pop that so into there. Make sure the back is glued down as well. So that gives us our little pull tab to open that flap. And you can put a bit of ribbon or yeah, absolutely. whatever you want on that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to make the little pocket that goes on the inside. I keep calling it a pocket. It's not a pocket. It's a tag that goes, that in, goes a in a pocket. Thank you. Um, could I have sounded any more Welsh when I said that? Pocket. Pocket. And I, oh I did, I cut these on here. So, here are our little photo corners. <laughs> this is like a, this that. is like a journey of discovery for me. Oh, look what I did. It was only on Monday, <laughs> and I've forgotten. It, I've slept a couple of times since, and made a lot of other things. So, I have used the little photo corners for this, and I've not cut it into this yet, so I guess we'll get the dyes out. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back. Oh, they are. They're not even in the. Shame. I'll get the dies. Thank you so much. I I can do something at least. My dies are okay. 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 Here he is. This is the one. Yeah. Can I be really cheeky and have the pair? I know we don't <gasps> normally cut two at once, but. Oh, I know. I know. You are so bad. I am. There's only one in your die set. Yeah. So she's doing. Do as I tell you, not do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh huh. So I have here my mat. This is in the classic card in ivory. And with my little corner die, I'm basically going to look at the square part of this. So I imagine if I was making a photograph or mm -hmm. taking a photograph, this is probably going to end up being cut square. Yeah. So I'm going to line this up with the deboss line around nice. the edge. I've got here some lovely low tack tape to make sure this doesn't move. Grab a couple of bits of that. Mm, you want to make sure because you've got two dies and you're not meant to cut two dies. Shh, don't tell them. So yeah, we recommend you don't cut two dies together for a number of reasons. Number mm -hmm. one, if they move, they could cross, you could ruin your die. We have all done that. We have all done that. Mm -hmm. And you definitely don't want to do that. No. So yeah, I would recommend you do this one. Should I do it properly? Look, I'll be Aww. good. One at a time. How so I have good my are you? First corner stuck down very firmly. Pop it through here. I didn't make as big of a clunk as my machine upstairs does. I think it's the angle that I have my uh -huh. machine. 
Oh, listen to poor Cam. Oh, She's trying yeah. to clear his throat quietly. Got in holding his mic. Oh, he away, did so. as well. It oh, bless you. Oh, poor Cam. Sorry. He'd better be better before next Thursday. I know. I got this not Sunday they've just been the Sunday before that and it's just been a slow process yep. I even took days off to try and get better oh, I don't know how to do that well like that she's yeah. mother but she's in school I'm, I'm I'm working I'm a working mum I can't help it it's doing the rounds in lots of places at the moment yeah it's gone through the whole family um, Eva's thankfully had it and done with it and stuff home. but I'm st- slowly getting over Aww. it <laughs> Hopefully you feel better very soon. I know. I think we're coming to the end of it. It's it's sh- it's shifting. It's shifting. Yeah. It's much better than it was. I, at some point, I was just living with tissues up my nose. That was oh. the only way I could live. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> Have you stuffed them up your nose? Yes. Just to keep them yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you're laying in bed and you think I, I can't keep wiping my nose, I'm never gonna go to sleep. I know. It was just, just easier. Yeah. 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 Blake was like, "Oh, you best be faking it," because obviously he was by himself. And I just sent him a picture of tissues up my nose. <laughs> and I'm like, nah. <laughs> very uh, ill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Poor Blake as well, being here on his own. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Linda said, "Get well soon, Cam." Oh, thanks. Linda. And Monica said, "Watching you is helping her to give it a go." Oh, definitely do. Like, if I can do this, I don't memory book. No. No, neither of us do. No. And yet, here I am, memory booking to the hilt. Memory booking, indeed. <laughs> I even made a memory book that is on the flyer in this kit, and I don't <coughs> memory book, so explain that one to me. Because <laughs> I don't understand fun. it. Oh. I did. Oh, well done. Oh, you did! You did! You made that one! Mm hmm. You made the one that I thought Al was going to make. Yeah. Because it's just so traditional. I know. It's if so you were going to make anything, I would have said you'd make that. Exactly. We, we reversed roles this you time did. around. You did. So Very I have nice. cut my little photo corners in here. So just to show you how they work, you've basically got a little slit that you would then tuck the corner of your photo into. Like so. Let's do it with a different coloured piece mm-hmm. of card, shall we? So just put under like that. You put the other corner, obviously it's not going to fit, but you put the other corner down there and that's going to hold your photo in place. You could also put a stripe of a tape runner yeah, just in to the hold background if you, you wanted to. to. Exactly. Ta-da. Lots of options. So I have two of this. This is the largest layer of the middle page. Trying to name all of these pieces <laughs> for the email to come out to you with your cut list. I was like, how how am I going to refer to all of these? <laughs> they all look the same. They do. So yes, this is your we named middle them page, largest layer. Large page, middle page, small page. Mm-hmm. Largest layer of your large page. Yep. Middle layer of your large page. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it was it was a lot of fun. Let's put it that way. So you want to make sure that you don't glue this part. So where the heart is around here, because you're gonna want your photo to slip under that. Mm-hmm. So glue around the edge but not over that part. Around the edge and in the middle. Exactly. Around the outside? <laughs> <laughs> Such a child. We really need to stop doing videos together because oh, no. we uh, we just have like a, a common language mm-hmm. we say at this point. Okay, put it around the edge or round the outside. So Leah is saying you will admit your love of the memory book soon. <laughs> uh, it's a yeah, it's a slow burn. So <laughs> I enjoy decorating them. Sometimes I do admit I get overwhelmed with the construction. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'm like, I have no idea where I'm going next. So I, I start with a page, I figure out a page, uh-huh. and then I go from there. And How that is the best way to do it, as long as you know what you're making your book for. So yes. are you making a journal? Are you making just a glorified photo album? That's a place to start, Monica. Just make um, just just normal pages. Yeah. Just cut your pages, either lace them together, or if you've got if you've got some of our other memory books, you've got spines probably. Pop the spine in, get your pages in, and just do flat pages with layers, and that'll be your your simple memory book. You can even put it on rings so you can add pages to it as yes. you make them as well. 
yes that's even easier then so you know if you yeah. if you can only do a couple of pages that's fine put them on a ring and then when you feel like you can add more to it do so I think says, says the person who taught me into making one with two spines just for fun I don't know what you mean Leah and it <laughs> turned out beautifully it did turn out beautifully and if you haven't posted that on the Facebook group yet I hope that you will Oh yes, because I'm sure everyone would love to see that. They would, they would it indeed. Was a beautiful book. Somebody is saying hello to us, and I don't know who it hello. is. Hello, it's just this Facebook user. Oh, I know. Hello, hello. Right, so I have my two sides for my tag, not a pocket. Because in a pocket, <laughs> it is a it tag. Is a tag. <laughs> so pop those together. Lots of gluing and sticking so far. We're going to get to the decorating part momentarily. There is lots of assembly with a memory book though, isn't there? There is. There and is. just consider that this is just one double page spread that you've amazingly put together in such a short space of time. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Oh, it was, it was a, a it's Scramble. not that it was a rush job. It's just the fact that we thought we had more time than we actually did. It wasn't until mm, as we were leaving the studio on Friday and we talked about, oh yeah, we've got the craft along coming up. Yeah. And like Cam was like, yeah, well, next week because I'm not here the week. And we were like, oh. Yeah, we had actually <laughs> scheduled a date and everything. And then you, from the looks of it, completely forgot you scheduled a date yeah. and tried to reschedule it. I was yeah. like, no, we said the first date. <laughs> exactly, is what Cam. Exactly. Oh, Melissa's going to make hers into an art journal. Oh, nice. it was Aisha. Hi, Aisha. Uh, still not sure where to start, but that's my intention. Right, Melissa, you just want, if you're making yourself an art journal, you want plain pages. Just very plain pages, exactly. Mm. You may want to have, you know, you could stick on layers if you're using watercolour stuff. You could stick on layers in watercolour paper. Exactly, paper. exactly. Um, if you have a specific cardstock or paper yeah. you use for Whatever colouring. medium yeah. you need for that particular page, you can add as a layer on that page. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very good idea. Yeah. Very, very good idea. Or oh, Leah said you, you've had several holidays since I then. mean, that's also true. That's <laughs> We booked Zones this after we came back from a holiday, oh. so can't use that as an excuse. No. <laughs> Barbara is new to the kit and she's excited to try it. <gasps> Excellent. Don't forget, Barbara, whatever you make, tag us. Yeah. We would love to see it. I would love to see. Yeah, Other we love to see memory books. I, I always need the inspiration. <laughs> it's not so much that, though. They are such works of art. They are that it is always so nice to see them. Love so, that. I've put a patterned paper tab on this tag. Oh, too many, too many words. Like so, and I have also cut, this is possibly one of my favorite little dies in this kit. New oh, it is cute, isn't it? It is a little deboss sentiment that says, pull me, but it actually cuts out so you can layer it up as well. So I'm gonna pop that on here, tag you where. Okay. Where are Ooh, we? Okay. We are on Facebook. We are. The best place, Melissa, is if you pop along to our Facebook group, you will see lots and lots and lots of inspiration from all of our amazing crafters, all of our, our, our members of the group, mm -hmm. our design team. I just found a sticker on my cardi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wondering what that it was then. That what, new. what is that? <laughs> Yes, yeah, still got the sticker on. Um, yeah, so we, we do have a lot of inspiration in there. So pop along to our Facebook group. And I mean, if you post it on our Facebook group, we will see it because we are members of the Facebook group as well. Mm -hmm. And we just see everything and we love everything. We do. Alternatively, we are on Instagram. We are at Tonic Studios on there. Yes. We are on Twitter. We are also at Tonic Studios on there, I believe. Yeah. Um, you can use the hashtag Showtonic as well. You can then search for that mm -hmm. across the interwebs. So yeah, wherever is easiest for you. Um, but Facebook is where we tend to spend the most time. We do. So there we go. Page one replicated. I have my. I love that. The, that's not the new one. That's the new one. So there we go. The last thing I need to do is just fold it along that edge so that mm -hmm. opens up, and then I have my little tag in a pocket. Beautiful. behind there so page one done it is that easy you can put a photo on there photo on there a bit of journaling next to it mm -hmm. 
Next page. So this time we have a little pocket on the AE diagonal and we have a little mini book that has <gasps> magnets. I love the sound of a magnet. Aww. Just like so. So I've literally just tied some ribbon on this to hold it together, nice and easy. It's just a mini little book with enough space for a couple of photos and you could write some notes in here as well. Barbara's just joined us on the Facebook group. Yay, oh, welcome. Hi, Barbara. Thank you very much. Thank You'll you so much. You'll see us now on a Monday morning. Yes, we are there. From the craft room. Wish you had a gallery on the tonic site down from the US. Ooh. Oh, that would be a nice idea. A gallery. Hmm. We have with us Cameron, who does an awful lot of work on the website. The, the, the face is currently like this. Mm, wondering, <laughs> pondering how he oh, can get. How that would work. Mm, well, when, when they mean we'll gallery, what are they exactly after? I'm guessing like somewhere that people can submit. Do you mean, so, Mama Pillow on uh, YouTube, do you mean you want a gallery of just finished samples? Because if you go into every die, every die that is in stock on the website, mm -hmm. if you access that die, you will see uh, card samples on that page, on that yep. die page. Um, but when you say gallery, do you mean a customer's gallery? Or do you mean more card samples that do not go when the die set's gone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me like an exact yeah, idea give, of what you're after and I'll see what idea. I can do. Would Tonic we're with the man that can, so. on all these social media sites. Oh, 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 oh like a roundup. Oh, I have something on the UK I that, that like. I can do um that I'm able to do that with. Um Ooh. it's not something I So what Mama Pillow is saying in the US she is saying uh that <clears throat> from our uh submissions on our social media posts and things things that people have sent us. Can we kind Can of we round those up into something put them on our in a website? gallery? Uh, there should be something out there that Ooh, will allow me to do well, that. There's a, there, you, I, got a, I got a app on the site that um, allows like oh. to pull Insta our Instagram posts to. Um, so it is possible, I'm, I'm sure of it. I'll have a look. It's something he'll have a look at. Probably no, not probably, the next yeah, I'm, No, probably, yeah. No, this is going to be Thanks for that, Mama Pillow. We yeah, will well, we'll definitely look into that and see what options we have. What she's saying here is that uh, she looks up old videos um, when she gets the tricky sets. So she's thinking about the carousel and things like that. But if she had, if there was a place of just pictures that she could go and look at, it would sort of spark an idea. Yeah, I can see what I can do. See what Ooh. I can pull together. But yeah, Hopefully. not any time soon because I'm sure when I get back I'll be quite busy because yes. cyber so will be coming up. Like back. We will look into, and it was a very good idea. So yeah. thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yeah, if you have ideas, mm. definitely the place to ask them. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer as much as we can live. And if we don't know the answer, we will go away and find it. For we you. will, and we'll we'll pop a little message, probably on the Facebook group. Some or we'll answer it in like the, the next weekend pages. or something like that. Some of those are on the blog pages, but there's no search feature for the blog. Yeah, I've been wanting that for a while. It's, uh -huh. um, it's a bit of a struggle because it struggles to filter just the blogs. It tries to search uh -huh. the whole website. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. Yeah. okay. So it is it. There are definitely changes afoot yeah. on the website. They certainly are looking into things anyway. So we are looking into that, Beth. Hopefully, hopefully he can he can find a way. I'm sure he can. I'll try my can. Best. Cameron can. Exactly. <laughs> so for my second page, I have a couple of pieces. So this is to make the sort of pocket part on here. I've got in the <coughs> largest layer of the largest page, I have a piece of patterned paper and a piece of um, ivory cardstock. This happened to be a piece of the smooth ivory that I mm -hmm. had, but if you only have the classic cardstock left, that would also work. Yep. And then in the next layer down, I have a piece of vellum. This is that beautiful gold very pearl pretty, vellum. And I have this very important strip that's <laughs> going to hide a multitude of sins if you get your angle wrong when you cut it. <laughs> that's for the pocket. That sounds like the voice of experience. Yes. 
yes <laughs> and then for the mini little book i have four of the smallest page and again these are all cotton scraps which is why some of them have mm -hmm. longer tails than other they were just bits of card that i have left over doesn't matter we're going to chop it up um and that's basically other than a couple of layers to go into my little book so i'm going to start by trimming up my pages in exactly the same way as i did the bigger one probably should have done this ahead of time but there we go. No, but Here just showing exactly what, because these are your pieces that the photographs were taken of. That's very so true. To make my life easier, I'm going to start and just trim this. So I only want this time around one set of holes. I don't want the double oh, set. So I am righty -ho. really trimming this down this time. You are. So looking through the little holes i'm going to line this up on the edge of the guillotine so my head is probably going to be in shot here and i'm very sorry but i want to make sure that i don't cut any of the holes open you don't mm -hmm. want that. so better to take off less than you need and like add a little bit more each time mm -hmm. than to go gung-ho and cut the edge of your holes away there we go a little yes. bit more no no <laughs> no no, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, when will y'all be back to Crafters TV? I don't have a date. I'm afraid. No. Um, it just says Facebook user, so I can't even. I can't even say who's who that is. Uh, as soon as we do have a date, I'm sure we'll be advertising that. Yeah, so on our Monday morning email, I tend mm -hmm. to say where we are over the week, or if you join us live from the craft room on a Monday, we will let you know as well. I don't think we've got anything scheduled in. We haven't got, not we haven't got Crafters TV scheduled, definitely. Definitely not at the moment. I'm sure we will be though. Yes, bound to. We're so, everywhere. Same again. <laughs> as I did with the big pages, just lining yep. up the edge of my page with the edge of the guillotine and then just snippity snip. Yeah, exactly. Oh, missed that. Oh. How on earth do I manage that? You watch me. Oh, I love our guillotines. <laughs> there we go. It's I'm so going to use this as a template for the rest of them. Ah, nice. So that I get them all cut to yes. the same length. So I'm going to cut them out of their pages first. Yes. So this is definitely a, you know, insert elevator music here moment. Uh -huh. I, uh, so Mo is saying these. good morning from Southeast Texas. Welcome and good morning. We have, that is, aren't you our third Texan? And we have a lot of, of Texans the day. in today. A lot of Texans. Oh, oh, has there been like yes, some yes. statewide announcement that we're live or something? I'm, I'm curious. Uh, oh, that is so funny. Yes, our third text of the day. But good morning to you, Mo. And what time is it with you? I was literally yeah. searching out to see what time oh, it was. Oh, you? Yes, yeah, uh, supposedly five to eight over there. It's not too Ooh. early. So, kind of a breakfast. Breakfast TV. Breakfast crafting. I'd watch that. I would too. Definitely. Definitely. So has anybody made anything with their kit yet? Or mm. are you waiting to see what we were doing first? That is what I want to know. Have you made any scrap of pages? Mm -hmm. Have you put any... We've got a card here as well, haven't we? we yes, have. we have got a card. It says the good times. That's lovely. It says a true friend. Aww. How lovely is that? So yeah, that's got a little tag in a mm -hmm. pocket on the front of it as well. I love doing does. tags it on does. cards. Now this one, this is our Shilpa. And what Shilpa has done is use foam pads. So she's made her tag with the foam, uh, her pocket by cutting very thin strips of the foam Smart. pad. Yes. So she's got room for that. I like that idea too, thank you. <laughs> I'm always saying it's too early. <laughs> not too early. Definitely Never too not. early, Mo. Okay, and then line these up and use it as a template. Mm -hmm. So that hopefully all of my pages are going to be roughly the same. Mm -hmm. And because we're tying it together with ribbon, it doesn't really matter if they don't exactly match. No. So no panic if they don't. Would you like me to glue your little ringy ding dings on? Oh, that would be amazing. 
if you wouldn't mind. So mm -hmm. I have cut some of the hole protectors on here from the Cosmic Copper. Yep. I'll even give you, I'll be nice. I have a oh. delightful precision Well, do you know what? Glue for you. Uh, if I had a tweezers, yeah, we don't have I any would, oh, well, I'm not gonna be able to pick these up then, am I? <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling at the moment as well, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll have a page. Okay, that's fine, thank you. Uh, love your dice. Isn't it lovely having a glamorous assistant to mm -hmm. do half of the work for you? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Glasses. There with. Ta da! Switch the glasses so oh, you can see yes. what That'll be the one. Ah. Always helpful. I know. Sean said to me the other day, um, Do you realise you've got two pairs of glasses on? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. They're your homemade verifocals, right? My, my homemade verifocals, indeed. I'm sure you're not the only one who walks around with uh, two pairs of glasses on their head either. <laughs> Ready for swift switching. Uh, what's going on here? I've missed, I've missed a message. Uh, Mama Pillow was saying, she was definitely waked in, um, going to try making it a tunnel book. Oh, show me, show me, show me, show me. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Uh, a tunnel book. Look. It's going to have layers, isn't it? If it's going to be a tunnel. So you're going to see through. through. Mm -hmm. And Leah says she's noticing a theme with you having glamorous assistants. Don't know what you mean. I'm going to give you the second one of those that needs okay. the holes. So I am gluing the holes on to oh good lord above. the hole protectors around the holes. That's the ones. Them yeah. all. Glamorous assistant. Thank you very much. While you yeah. do that, I shall sure put the bits into the pages. Can I get them straight? If I had my tweet, I would choose to do this with tweezers. By the way. Would you? Yes. Oh dear, have I ruined your life by not giving you tweezers? Yes. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I probably don't even look sorry. Okay, no. so. You're laughing. How does that look sorry? <laughs> I am sorry. I am sorry. I'm going to put some magnets in here. I know a couple of people have asked us previously how we hide magnets in memory books, uh -huh. you know, how we put them in, etc., etc. So I'm going to try very hard not to mess this up myself to show you how I do it. I have to really think about this. So, so if, the, if the tongue comes out, I'm concentrating, <laughs> okay. So I have um, the large craft magnets here. It doesn't actually matter which size you use. They're the same depth. Depth, they're just wider, basically. Did I have a word? You had a word, <gasps> well done. I'm very impressed. As am I. And As come am with I. <laughs> a um, sheet of stickers that you can use. So I've just peeled the protective layer off there. Pop my magnet on. Give it a press and peel that off. And so I have the front side of my left and right page. I'm gonna turn this one over and pop my magnet roughly here. I wanna make sure that I have enough cardstock around the edge that I can glue my layer to it and get a nice bond around yeah, here. So you don't want it right at the edge. You don't want it right at the edge because you're not gonna be able to close this. Mm -hmm. So by having that gap here, it means I can glue right the way around here and seal the magnet in. So pop it back the right way. I'm gonna put my other page this way on here. Grab another magnet. Yeah, I'm doing this right, now. Yeah, they just go on the right side. Yes. And you wanna make sure. Your pages. Exactly. Right. So pop your magnet down so that it actually snaps to the one underneath. If you find that your magnet is trying to skip away, that it won't go, it's the wrong way up. Mm -hmm. You've so, change the polarity. Exactly. So now I have my magnet sandwich between there. Nicely stuck. Nice magnet two. sandwich. Nice magnet sandwich, exactly. Delicious. Please do not. No. Do not. Do not eat your, your mouth. I'm going to put the other sticker on the back of this magnet. So just pop that down under there. Like so. And then, do we have one page done? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Here. I'm going to glue this over the top so that my magnet is then wedged in. Ah, so he's he is sandwiched. Yes. Inside the two sheets of card. Yeah, for exactly. Protection. And this way, I know that it's definitely. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I steal your glue? No. No. Okay. No. I know it's definitely the right way around, so that my little book is going to close. And not try and push open away from each other. Exactly. Exactly that. Nobody needs that. 
So with my little magnet sandwich in hand, line up the edges. I'm so sorry, this is probably not on the camera nicely. There we go. Line up the edges. Once you're happy that you've got it in place, you can take away magnet number one and just work with this one. So here is my little magnet sandwich. My magnet is now nicely hidden in the middle of here. Oops. Line that up around there. Okay, so this is going to be my front page. So I'm gonna pop my back page to one side for a second. For the front, I have just a piece of patterned paper that I have cut. So this is the smallest page, and this is the biggest layer of the smallest page. Mm -hmm. And these have, uh, you'll notice they have a gap on these, and that's intentional, so you can add in one of the die cut sentiments, you can add a stamp sentiment, you something can. like that in there. So just glue this on. Oh, Melissa's off to work. Have a good day, Melissa. And have a great day. Hope it goes nice and quickly for you. Or oh. not, if you. So Mama don't Pillow want to is do. saying uh, that's why the magnets are on sale this week. Yes, we oh. use lots of them. We use them all the time. We really do, In and we so love things. them. We love them. Have I missed anyone? This other little love. I love the fact that they are as thin as they are. Oh, they're very good. And I like the fact that we've got the adhesive for the, the one side of them. Yes, very helpful. It just helps with positioning, doesn't it? It does. So, um, that over. so Linda's been given a little tip here as well. If you run out of foam pads, uh, she's cut several pieces of 300 GSM card and glued together as layers and cut them into oh, strips. that is very clever. And it yes. is good because, I mean, we do that a lot with sentiments and things, don't mm -hmm. we? If yeah, we if want, you want to stack them up. Yeah, just cut cut the same die cut and you, you get like a little piece of chipboard mm -hmm. uh, looking effect. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah, we love that. So my pan paper that I've put on the inside of my book is directional. So I've made sure that I have cut a left hand page and a right hand page mm -hmm. so that you don't end up with your hearts upside down so you can Nobody see around the edge of here so this is going to be my front page this is my left hand page so this one needs to go on first mm -hmm. see look i even made this difficult for myself <laughs> when I you was could have used the dots i could have done <laughs> i could have used the other side but just things to bear in mind joe think about how this is going to sit in your book yes before you start cutting so Sharon's with us as well from Cloudy Kent Ooh. oh I, bet it I think is. it's probably cloudy here as well Sharon we haven't got a window no Cam's it's got the fire dark. exit behind him yeah <laughs> that's it dark and dingy in the basement yes yes indeed where we are kept uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> until someone lets us out <laughs> <laughs> oh, did someone say magnets and sail? I'm off to explore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's our Vicky. So Vicky said she's just used over 50 magnets this Whoa. week. Whoa. I know what's, what Vicky's been making. She's been making samples for me. What have we had recently that needed magnets? Oh, I'll have to sit and think about that now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. I can show you a photo. It's on my phone. That's okay. <laughs> Just gonna hmm. let that percolate while I continue gluing. So, there is my front page of my mini book done. So that's the front page. I've got my first inner page. So you could pop a photo on here. You could add a little bit of journaling down the side if you wanted to. Lovely. Grab back my next one. This still has its little magnet on the back. So I have my glamorous assistant has finished adding the lovely little hole protectors on there, so I can glue these together. Little glue lovely. around the edge. Yeah, Vicky's been very busy for me this week. Very, very busy. <coughs> no, I thought it came to me then. <laughs> and it, it, it came and it went again. No. <sighs> it's probably very mean that we're talking about this to everyone who can't know. Mm -hmm. So we'll carry on. <laughs> Is there anything I've seen? I'm trying to figure yeah. it out. <sighs> Doesn't it infuriate you? It's it? not going to spring to mind. It's not. I'll tell you later, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. And you'll get to see in some weeks. Not long, actually. No. November? Not long. The 1st of November is when it'll be. 1st November show. Mm -hmm. Which is out on the 1st. My brain is too full of putting memory the memory books. books together at the moment, yeah. <laughs> 
Everything mm -hmm. else is gone. Okay. Are the layer going down? Oh, so Margaret is saying uh, they sent the sunshine to St. Helens in Merseyside today Aww. as they're sick of rain all the time. Oh, that's a lovely Margaret. I'm glad you've got a lovely day. I remember just a couple of weeks ago, Alison and I were walking out, we were like, oh, look, it's sunny and warm out here because it had been, it got colder mm -hmm. for some of us Briefly. that have been away for a long time. It felt like it got cold very suddenly. Um, probably to everyone else, it was a gradual decline. <laughs> yes. But it was nice and warm and sunny when we walked outside, and I, it's not been that for a while now. It has not. It has not. Um, Linda said, I'm teasing. I am teasing, Linda, and I am sorry. <laughs> She's not. She's I, not am, I am. I am. As I said, I thought, oh, I shouldn't really be saying this. Oh, no. She's even stopped. So when we do our little Monday morning <laughs> bit of filming upstairs, we you know, talk about what's coming up for the week. Where Alison sits, her desk is right in front of our kind of to-do board. Mm -hmm. And um, we've stopped showing that as well now. It was okay before because Mark used to write on it and his writing was quite small so nobody could see it. Right. But now we write on it and we need to see it from where we're sitting. So it's rather large. And it's... It's a bit it's of a giveaway. Yeah, it's sectioned. Excuse as a, What are you looking for, sweetheart? I'll get it. Oh, I could have got you that. It's all right. Uh, yeah, so we we have it in, in lists. We've got our D2C work. We've got our create and craft work. Mm -hmm. And then we've got other things in the middle. So we've got definite lists now. And we can't show you that anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's amusing though. Because yes. I know a lot of people used to have, well, the... Uh, the two sous. The two sous. Yes. DS uh, high. D DS, DS hair. And, uh, and uh, DI, DI foot. Or are they the other way around? Yeah. <laughs> they are both detectives. <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, they, I they may have demoted somebody there, but I am, I am very sorry. <laughs> they used to have lists in notebooks of all the things they'd spotted either around the office, notes that we had on the board. Yep. <laughs> very cheeky. It is very funny though. So, four little bits of ribbon just to hold this together. That I'm is gonna, lovely. I'm going to do one and then my grandma's assistant is going to finish it off for me. I will. Because she's will. good like that. So, and I've literally just done a very simple knotty single knot. Oh, and then you can, yeah, you don't need to do, do more we than to that. trim them down a little bit. Yeah, okay, thank you. I shall do that. While you're doing that, I shall oh, try yeah. and remember how on earth I cut all of these bits on an angle to go <laughs> on my pocket at the end. <laughs> Pretty sure our pencil is involved. <laughs> so, isn't this fun? <laughs> <That's> fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a pencil is involved. Basically, I want a nice angle. So again, this is a this side page. It's a right hand side this side. It's a right hand side page. So I want the slope to go this way so that things sit into it nicely and don't fall out as you're turning the page in your book. And I've used the kind of shaping of the edge of the page as a guide for this. So I'm kind of coming in where this scallop ends and I want a nice chunk on this side. So I'm going to line that up on my guillotine. Here is my the edge of my scallop. Find a nice kind of wedge on there. And then just go for it. Nice. Just like this. So, and you could, if you wanted to, probably use that As somewhere else. The opposite page. Yeah, more than likely. So there is my pocket to start off with. Now for my vellum, because I like to make my life you know, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I am letting all the secrets out, absolutely. Because I would like to make my life difficult, I could have just used vellum, uh, cut the vellum to the same size layer and just cut the exact same angle, but no. I decided not to do that, I cut it down a layer. So this is where I am going to have to find a writing implement. I see I one. I can see a pen. Oh, I'll go. I'll Thank go, I'll you. Go, I'll go. And, and while you do that, I um I put the cut list on the landing page. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. So the cut list, if you didn't receive the email, the cut list is now in the craft room. Uh, it's on the landing page for the kit. So I'll, I'll put oh, the links in now. There we go. If links you in go coming. down to the content, uh, what's in the um, this month's box, there is a button. You press that and it'll pop up. You'll be able to and that's a probably a good place to 
mention as well. So when we launch new products, we do tend to have a page with all of the resources for that thing. So you'll mm -hmm. see any videos that we've done on that product. You'll see all of the design team kind of yep. samples and stuff as well. Um, so definitely a good tip. Have a, a look around our website. Yeah. And do and have a look in the yeah. craft room section as well. There's lots of extra bits and pieces in there too. Yeah, because there's blog posts in there mm -hmm. and all sorts, isn't there, Cam? Oh, yeah. There's lots it's in the, just, in the you know, room. if you're a beginner, there's uh, a page that I did on just, you know, going into die cutting mm -hmm. and um, where to start and all that, and some tips, how to use a die cutting machine. Um, Very yeah. handy. Yeah, just general information as well as yeah. fun tutorials and techniques and stuff. Yeah, there nice. we go. So I have put my vellum so I have a nice even border around the edge and I want to cut this so that it has a roughly even border on here, oh no. Oh no, does it not work? Have I given you a written implement that doesn't work? Oh my god, it's alright, I've got it now. Oh I got it, I got it. So I'm just going to give myself a couple of little guide points. Probably I would do this in pencil, not biro, <laughs> so that I could rub <laughs> it off. But yep, yeah, this is, you know, we're working with what we have. So I'm going to line up that point there, and that one there. As Vicky says, I am giving away all the secrets now. Yeah. Will you say it? Does this mean Cam's craft stream is coming up soon? Well, this is it. We need Alex to do it. So uh, tag your it, I think. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Mama Pillar says thanks for adding the cut list, Cam. You're welcome. I just want to add. Does vellum cut well with dyes? It does, Mo. It cuts very well with dyes. Yeah, I, I just. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to add to like the blogs and stuff that like as I put them on the website, but it's the crafters who do all the work. Yes, and yes, it's, it, Cam wanna... adds them to the websites. Yeah. Cam adds them. Cam is a technical man. Yeah, they make everything look nice and pretty and put everything together for us, and, and I, just, I put it on the website for Aww, everyone else. That's lovely. Oh. That is lovely. So my uh, scrappy piece of. Handy dandy strip is now going to sit right along the edge and just hide mm -hmm. any slight imperfections that may or may not have happened in the cutting of that angle. <laughs> you don't even need to get rid of your pencil line because you've got a bit of card going over the top of it. <gasps> Marvellous. Smart me. So I'm just going to put this right along the edge. And this is the point where you can start to decorate this how you want to. Yeah. yeah. Memory books are a very personal thing yes. as well, aren't they? And very much it depends on who you're giving it to as well. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to think a bit about where it's going to end up, yeah. what it's going to be used for, and that might help you to decide what kind of pages you need, whether you need yeah. lots of photo pages or if you need more journaling space. You can show your, your lovely memory book as well. Yeah, I need to leave that finish. to dry for a second, so I will have a quick flick, oh dear, through mm -hmm. some of these. So couple of other things that were in the kit that we didn't get a chance to use on this layout. You do have some acetate in here as mm -hmm. well. And I couldn't quite get an acetate pocket in, so I will just show you this one. I did put a pocket on here, and this has actually been done with foam pads. I don't know if you're going to be able yeah, to see I this. You can kind of see them. So yeah, yeah, you've got foam pads around the edge to make your pocket. I have some lovely hikers. It's, you know, time spent with friends. <laughs> They've obviously gone on a lovely hike, so I've got a little tag <laughs> on the front of the book. Obviously, we use uh, royalty-free images. We do. Images. If you know these hikers, <laughs> let them know. They're now immortalised <laughs> on our memory bank. Um, the, that came from one of those uh, image sheets, didn't it? It did, yes. And I literally just cut it out with the dye as well. Yeah. So if you were putting photos in, this is how you would you know, add in your pictures, basically. Um, so I've die cut some of the sentiments on here as well. I've and stamped some friends. of them. Lovely. And you've got your beautiful drops. Yes. Yeah, so because you love those. Love a drop. So this is the pocket that we are replicating today. I've got uh -huh. one on this side. And there's a little extra tag page on there that flaps. So this is just stuck under the layer. Uh -huh. You've got your little photo corners on this one. Yep. I've done a vellum pocket in oh, the middle. I love vellum pockets. So love that. This is just vellum, two sheets of vellum on either side of a page to make a pocket. That with is a little gorgeous. Tag down the middle, nice and easy. Fabulous. 
I'm just going to pop that there for a second. <laughs> um, so again, sentiments, and I've edged this with the uh, Quishima pen, just to give it a oh, bit of definition nice. between the cardstock that it's on. That's lovely. These are the thumb notches we were talking about earlier. So these also work for your photos. Can oh, I try that up? Yes. So, or did I glue it down by accident? Here's the question. Did I go, oops, I glued that down, but never mind, it's just a photo. No, I don't Can't think quite so. lift it. So basically these poke out and you put your photo in behind these yeah. notches. So you've got one for the top and one for the bottom. You'll notice that the hearts are the correct way up on mm -hmm. them as well for you. So you can slip the photo into there. This pocket then, I have done a double Ooh. flap that way. We love that. So you can put a couple of pictures on there. Nice. And then just another pocket in the back. So very simple. I've just added drops to some of the lines. And then I went a bit mad with drops on all of the but segments on the front. We love a bit of dropage. Don't we just? We, we do love, love a bit of dropage. Thank you very much. In. This should now be hopefully dry. Yes. There we go. Kill time. Yep. Can I have those teeny scissors? Sorry. Thank you. Stole your scissors. I'm just going to trim this around the end. I'm just going to put your put my book back together. Put your thing back in here. <laughs> Thank your you. Tag. This is lovely. The good times with family. I love the sentiments in this book. They would work for pretty much any kind occasion. of memory yeah. keeping occasion uh -huh. that you have. Do you know what I love with this uh, vellum pocket? Can I just bring that back mm -hmm. in? Because. Your tag is obviously the same size mm -hmm. as the hole you've cut here. Mm -hmm. So it just slides in so easily. You've got such an e a good uh, area to glue on the sides here to make your slidey in pocket as well. So that's just the two layers oh, of the lovely. middle size page. I really like that. Thank you. Very, very much so. I'm going to attach my vellum okay. to my pocket. Wow, words are <laughs> really failing me today. I am losing uh, it. Now, normally we would say to hide your glue yeah. when you're using vellum. So I'm going to glue behind my copper strip. So that's going to be your main bit of holding. And then I was envisioning... In, envisaging... I planned to put a sentiment <laughs> on one corner. <laughs> wow, I am having a word day today apparently. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue just around the edges. You may see this, you may not. It really depends on how much it squidges. You can always use, um, what did we trial with the vellum for hiding it? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, good Lord. Don't ask me things like that after we've done. Once we're done, that's it. That information's gone forever. I'm sure we've tried the um, tape runners. Right. They hide better than wet glue sometimes. Although, okay. to be honest, uh, you can't see that. No. You can't see the glue around the edges. No, and I you think can't. it's because it's the pearled vellum. Yes. So you've got that texture over the top. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to glue this onto here, but only around the edges. Yeah, because it's a pocket. Exactly. Oh, let's have a little look. Um, that looks like a pumpkin. What was I showing? That <laughs> like a pumpkin. Um, the comment was a uh, the comment was around about the Leo's memory book. I think the oh, near the front yes. page. Okay. Yes, that front page does. Yeah. That pocket is pumpkin shaped. Yes. Yeah, it is with the with the tag on the top as well. It's fab. Um, bum, 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 bum. I think that's a good way oh, to... Oh, Regina said, sorry, she's been making Halloween and fall oh, items all week. So we you all... see pumpkins everywhere. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> pumpkins oh, everywhere. Oh, how lovely. I think that's a nice way to start your memory booking experience. So think of an occasion or uh -huh. a holiday or something and make a book for that particular event because then you've kind of got a theme... You know roughly yes. the pictures that you're going to have for it. You know what colours you're going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. Um, Mama Pillow is saying the drops on the cover are awesome. Took me a while. <coughs> I, and... The drops don't take me any time at all. I had already stuck the pocket on, so I had uh, to go around the edge. Around the, the pocket, pocket, yeah. Well, you would need to anyway, wouldn't you? Because you can't really glue on top of drops. Not really, no. It, it did make it more complicated. Uh, 
Uh, crafty Ladybug has joined us. Sorry, yeah, okay. mate. Oh, well, that's just not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Please you make can a watch memory us book. back. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, can you use mica mist on vellum? You yes. can, but it does crinkle because it's wet. But we embrace the crinkle. Yes. Uh, Mama Pillow, embrace the crinkle. Leo made some amazing flowers with vellum. She spritzed them all and they were stunning. And because Shimmer it, powder, I think, didn't we in the end? Did you shimmer powder or I did you I do think mica? I think I both of them. So I was about to say, I think uh -huh. Leo's done a video on this recently on a weekend. Ooh. Oh, I think I've done slipped since then but yes um i like the texture that it gives yes because when it, it like, okay when you first wet vellum it will roll up so i would recommend you tape it down yes to your glass mat because otherwise it is just going to roll up into a cigar basically <laughs> yeah. and then you're not going to be able to do anything with it so yeah tape it down if you want to put shimmer powder on it and then wet it that works if you want to mica mist it that uh -huh. does work um sparkle spray looks amazing it does love 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 um but yes it will kind of be crinkly but i think it adds a lot of texture so if it you does. think about things that you're going to want to have that added kind of crinkly texture on mm -hmm. it works perfectly and flowers were perfect yes because petals are not perfect and they're not flat no they're not no they're not um, if you didn't glue it on the top of the vellum, you could have a pocket. You could have a pocket, pocket on top. On top yep, of the pocket. So you could have another pocket on there. So if you, you just glue it around the edge, you could have a little one for tags in you the front. Could. You could. Really an idea. Um, Mo said, uh, "Thank you for doing this today. My two male kiddies are having surgery today, and Aww. I'm a nervous wreck. Oh, I hope they're okay. I'm sure oh, they will be. Them. I'm sure they will be. Oh. How are we doing for time? Are we? We are oh. twenty past two. Wow. An hour and twenty minutes. How on earth have you managed that? <laughs> so there we go. There are my two base pages done. That is the new one. Yep, there we go. I'm not cheating with the uh, with no. the old one. So we have a nice big photo mat on here. We've got a little tag and a pocket back here. We've got a little book with magnets that I love the sound of a clicking magnet. Love it. <gasps> Beautiful. In a little pocket, and these are now all ready to go into any book of June. As are these. <laughs> As are these, yes. So I, I now have uh, four pages ready to go. <laughs> Look at that. I, it's basically a book already. Marvellous. Oh, yeah, you could. You or could. I you could, really um, could. Or it's the start of two books for two different people. Uh huh. There two lovely gifts to give. So. That's what Leo's made today. What are you going to make with yours? We love to see what mm -hmm. you're making. Don't forget, we did say earlier where we were, so that's uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Show us what you're making yep, wherever. Absolutely. You can either hashtag us with Show Tonic or we are at Tonic Studios. Did I get that right? You did. <gasps> Go me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Unfortunately, the kit is sold out in the UK, but in the USA, there are still some kits available. And the one-off price for the kit in the USA is $39.99. Uh, if you're subscribing monthly, it's $32.99, and quarterly is $97.97. .97. But then you know you've got your kits paid for for three months, and they'll just turn up. And you get your TCK code if you're a subscriber, which yeah, gives you 10% off across the store. <gasps> and that includes all of our sale items, all of our bundles that we put out every week. We've had... We've had TCK... TCK deals, haven't we? Deals this week. <gasps> yeah, so there are special bundles and single items that um, subscribers can get 30% off on. <laughs> so the, some of them are already discounted. So in the US, I think there's one that's 20 four percent off already and right. then they're gonna get an extra thirty percent off. Crazy. Absolutely yeah. crazy. And you can still use your TCK within the basket. Not on those TCK deals, Obviously. but for your separate yeah. items. So you could still have two codes in the basket at the same time. And that's Amazing. because Cam has fixed it. Yes. <laughs> Cam has done internet magic. Yeah. And made everything work. It's magic and mirrors. It is. That's what he did. And a bit of duct tape thrown in his <laughs> 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 some magnets. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so yeah, in the US, this kit is only available until the 18th of yes. the month. Yes, it will have to be the 18th because that's my last day and that is when I'm going to be There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you heard from the man. Um, so yes, the current 
Um, kit is only available until the 18th of the month, and at that point, that's it. Job done. Yeah. This kit is gone unless if there's anything left. It goes in the vault. If and that's always an if, especially with if. a memory book kit. Oh, I think because they, oh, are, they always sell out. They always sell out, which mm. is why unfortunately we don't have any stock of this one left in the UK. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be back on the twentieth with a brand new kit to show you. I want to apologise in advance if anything goes wrong on the twentieth <laughs> because <laughs> anyone and any uh, everyone who can sort out the kit on the twentieth is at why the wedding. Why don't we just put it on the twenty-first when Simon's back in? Back in Simon back I don't know if Simon's back on the oh, it depends, it depends how on how his head's he feeling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, for that weekend, you may be getting all of us to do it ourselves. Yeah. It could be a fun watch. <laughs> Just a uh, yeah, quick heads up there. Um, I think that was everything we needed to mention on kits, I though. I think so. Shall I just run through the actual price of the kits in the UK anyway? Yes. You can't get this one, as we've said, but. In the UK, your prices are thirty four ninety nine if you just want to try this as a one off. But if you subscribe, it's always worth it because you get your TCK code. Mm -hmm. uh, monthly, if you just subscribe monthly, uh, it'll be twenty nine ninety nine, and quarterly is eighty nine ninety seven. In the UK, lovely. And I I love kit. I love the fact that you get a box of coordinated products. Mm -hmm a lovely set of dies and stamps and things that are all going to work together and it's just like a little bit of creativity in one box you can it just is. take the one box down and just have a little if you need like a, a mini play mm -hmm. you don't want to get everything out you just want a little self-contained playtime a kit is perfect. fabulous absolutely fabulous so you can get this now in the usa don't forget but if you do add this to your basket and you add more stuff as well because if and you're you, in the store why wouldn't you I exactly mean. you can also pay in installments so if you've popped it in as a one-off mm -hmm. you can pay by installments mm -hmm. so that is our clear pay shop pay and paypal am i right am i saying this right uh, yeah and then after pay in the us oh. after pay. yes oh that's gonna go on a wall it's oh, the same thing they like just they, they just from the looks of it, they've named it differently in the us uh, so. Okay. One of, those so one of those three is not like the other in the US, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. But yes, you can spread the cost using somebody else's money with a dressed. Basically. Which is what I love. Winning. I love, love, love. Um, if you've liked this video, give us a little like and subscribe to us if you would like to see more of this type of content. Uh, we're also live on a Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's tomorrow. Live that's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. I like that Mo says hubby pay. <laughs> hubby pay. That, that, that's yeah. the other one. That yes. works as well, yeah. Mo. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. I'll add that to the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll hubby pop it on the pay. wall. Mm -hmm. I'll pop it on the wall. Um, yeah, I do forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You too. Tomorrow. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. And if you want to be notified, just hit the notification bell. Ding. And you will be notified of all of our live videos. Thank you so much for joining us today. Leo's been amazing as always. It's been wonderful to have your company. Happy crafting. Bye.